like I said, Microsoft Excel is very simple to use, provided that you know the basic fundamentals that are uh, that guide the framework. So join me as I as I take you through the basic fundamentals that guide uh, Microsoft Excel. I mean Microsoft Basics. To start Microsoft Excel, you have to you know go to the start button. Some of us have shortcut to this already, but for newbies, just press E. If you have it installed on your system. Microsoft Excel will pop up, provided you don't have so many applications in it. So it's open, so tada, Microsoft Excel. And you can, if you want to use um, already existing templates. So what Microsoft did is, uh, because they know it is very difficult to understand Microsoft Excel, so they have template for us already that we can use. So if you want to do billing statement for UBs, blood pressure tracker, I want to tr uh, track your blood pressure and all of that, but I won't take you through that. Maybe in subsequent class, provided you sign up for our course on lenscity.ng, uh, you will be able to see the details and so much you can do with Microsoft Excel. So, workbook, and this is, Microsoft Excel because I'm just opening Microsoft Excel 365 on this laptop. You can see it's showing me take it all to show me around what is um, what is on Microsoft Excel 365. So it's showing me start quickly with the templates. So what I explained earlier, uh, the template that I already uh, built into the Microsoft Excel 365. So if I want to explore the templates you can see for more premium templates and all of that. So Microsoft Excel has so many templates. So these are all the templates on Microsoft Excel 365. You, you can scroll down to see more, you know, and so much more. So let's go, let's go to another, this thing, quick templates. Uh, data is better formatted. So if you want to format your data, you come to this axis, um, to this location here. You can see it through my mouse to format your data, but I won't take you into the deep part right now. I will, uh, I will take you from a step-by-step -step approach so that you can get the full details of what this can do. So if you want to format your data, this is where you come to. Then editing. If you want to edit, you come to this location, turn data into insight. If you want to plot beautiful, beautiful data, like I'm a data scientist, and when I'm working with data, I love to like paint imagination, tell stories with my data. And in telling my stories, I always like infographics to make it so interesting. So I'm going to still take you through all of that process, all of those simple things, but let me just take you through the framework, how Microsoft Excel 365 works. So this is where you come to, if you want to, you do one or two things, if you want to analyze data and turn it into beautiful, insightful um, analysis. So we have, if you want to share, when, you, when you're done, with your file, if you want to share your file, you come to Dix Aziz, you can share it on your Outlook. Like you see, I have so many of my Microsoft accounts here, so I can share, I can drop it on it um, on OneDrive, I can uh, put it in my personal email, provided the option or who I want to share the data with or my file with. So it's very easy, as in the addition to Microsoft 365 is so exciting. It makes life so easy for any individual that wants to use Microsoft 365. So beautiful, beautiful. So we'll go to Microsoft Basics now. The file tab, uh, the file tab replaces the old Office button, you know, in previous edition of Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, there is 
one cycle there is one cycle that takes um like that have window logos so that has been replaced with this so we don't have to go there anymore so you just click file and uh, it takes you right to this place so you can see uh you can see the back view and all of that in the file or uh, in the file tab these are the back view you have an old excel you're working with you want to manage your social media page and all of those things so this is the back view so we have the quick access to bar directly or I don't know above the file uh, file tab so if you want to add like if you are the type that send email to clients when you are done so you want to have quick access to bar to your uh, to your distance so that you don't have to bother yourself every time you can just come here and attach your file so that is your quick access to bar but unfortunately I've not uh, set up my outlook on this uh, laptop so I won't I won't be able to do that but that is how you uh, kind of add stuff that you use repeatedly to your quick access toolbar so this quick access toolbar is to find um, is to find uh, a convenient resting place for your most frequently used command you want to put your open button here if you want to open files and all of those things so that is what the quick access toolbar is so all of this is called the ribbon uh the ribbon they have three components which are the tabs the uh the tabs they appear across the top of the ribbon so example of the tab is the page layout formulas data review and view ribbons contain commands organized in three components uh we have the tabs uh, the tabs, uh, the tabs, they appear across the top, the top of the ribbon and contain groups of related commands such as home, insert, page layout, formulas, and uh, data. That is an up, these are upgrade formulas, data, review, view, and help. So this is uh, the tabs. And we also have the groups. The groups, they organize related commands. Each group name appear below the group of the ribbon. For example, group of command related to fonts or group of command related to alignment. So you can see the group of command related to fonts here, and you can see the group of command related to alignment. In further videos, I'll, I'll explain what alignment is and how we use alignment so these are groups they are in groups we have uh, groups of fonts here we also have groups of alignment here and and so on when we have command commands appear within each group so this is a command this is a command you want the font size to be 10 these are commands for it you can click here so it will automatically let's say this is five here yeah? and you want uh you want to command this five you are like this five and you want it to be bigger than what it is already so you can just increase the size you can see it is increasing you can increase it to uh, 72 and the rest of that so it's th those are command font uh, function so commands uh, are in between or lies within uh, the group uh, the group tab then we have the help icon here the help icon it's uh, it's we have an improved help icon for Microsoft Office the help icon can be used to get Excel related help anytime you like. This provides you nice tutorial on various subjects related to Excel. Anything you need help on Excel, quick starts and all of those things. So you can come to the help button, provided that you don't get 
the concept in these videos clearly so you can come to the L button so these are improved features for Microsoft Office so you can come here quickly and get quick start on how to use Excel role and column cells formulas and functions and format it but I won't take you through that approach but if you don't get what i'm explaining in this video you can always come to the l button i'm very sure you get you get what i'm explaining because i'm taking you step by step uh, the basics and the fundamentals of microsoft excel 365 so you can always come here to uh, to get help when it is needed so the zoom button Zoom control lets you zoom in for a closer look at your text. If you come down here, you can see the zoom button. So it's if you cannot see properly, maybe we have so many features on this Excel sheet. So if this small button right here can help you increase it or decrease it. So the small button right here. So if you want to reduce it, you can also come back to this uh, button here to uh, decrease uh, to zoom out so we have the view button here whichever way you want we have another one up here but this uh, this is a view button whichever way you want to see your microsoft excel so this is a view button is next to the zoom button so let's go back to the normal view and all of that so the view button also, if we have three sheets here, like for previous Excels, they usually have three sheets um, open, but for the new version of Microsoft Excel 365, we don't have that. So we have, uh, if you want to move across these three sheets, so it is also next to the view button. Page layout, uh, display pages display pages exactly as they will appear when you print it so if you want to um get your orientation right and all of that so you come to page layout the way you want to print it you have to get instruction from i don't know what you are probably going to use your worksheet for maybe you want to do a presentation you need to know the size of the presentation so that um you won't uh, submit something that is um, um, out of context. Maybe you want your page layout, you want your um, analysis to be in landscape or in portrait. So you have to come to this page layout part to, to do all of that. So we call this part sheet area. Sheet area, they are the areas you enter. You enter your data. So we call all of these sheets area. So the flashing vertical bar, yeah, we call all, all of the sheet area. So these are your sheet area and all of that. It has columns and it, it these are columns and these are rows. So this is your sheet area. The row bar, the row bar and number from one onward and keep on increasing as you keep entering data. Maximum limit of the row area is 1,048,576. I'm very sure you are not going to uh, analyze that type of data as a beginner, but that is to show that Microsoft Excel also has limits. So it can only process 1,048,576 rows and the column bar. The column bar are, uh, are numbered from A onward. So this is the column bar. This is the, uh, 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 the row bar. So from 1 to 1 million, uh, of 1,048,576. So this is the this thing, but the column bar, the column bar are, uh, are lettered from A onward to, uh, from A onward and keeps increasing as you keep entering data after Z. It will start the series of AA, AB, and so on. Maximum li limit is 16,384. 
we have the status bar. This display the current status of the active cells in the worksheets. A cell can it be a cell can this is a status bar. A cell can be in either of the four states. Ready mode, which indicates that uh, the worksheet is ready to accept user inputs. Edit mode, edit mode, which indicates that the cell is editing is in editing mode if it is not activated. So the status bar usually pump up from this side, but when I'm working on an Excel worksheet that you will see in next videos, you will get that. That is not all on Microsoft Excel basics. Uh, in our next video, we'll continue on Microsoft Excel basic. I have um, reduced um, this video to bit by bit so that um, you'll be able to get as much as possible. You'll be able to get as much as possible in the basics of Microsoft Excel. And I trust me, when you understand the basic principle and basic functionalities guiding Microsoft Excel, you will be able to do all of the amazing data that you see data scientists do, that you see uh, so many people, finance people do, uh, they come to give you beautiful analysis, but you need to first understand the basics. So that is all for the basic for now. In our next video, we'll look at more, uh, more functionalities that we've not looked into in this video. <music>